Good morning, my friends. I'm glad to see you made it. I think I'm feeling better. Good enough to get back to work. <clears throat> I'm gonna be painting this east wing of the church. Uh, move my little office over here. <laughs> or my desk and my computer over here. Getting it out of my room area. I think with it being in my room, it's too easy to go to bed. <laughs> it's too easy not to climb out of bed. You know, uh, ever since my heart attack, I've been so tired. And, and trying to get motivated to do things has been so hard. Just don't feel good. Tired, get worn out fast. And, uh, I don't know. It just sucks. It sucks getting old, it sucks being sick. Yeah. That's the one future we all have in common. One day we will get sick and there's a good chance we're gonna die. <laughs> and that makes life suck. You know, enjoy what we got while we got it. So today we're gonna be working. We're going, we're gonna start crack feeling, getting stuff ready, prepared for paint. I got a nice light gray, it's white, off-white. Mm -hmm. A little bit of gray paint and uh, should look good I think it'll look good it's been many 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 moons since they painted in here since they cleaned up in here so fresh coat of paint will definitely bring it back to life we'll see make it look good again and like I say I'm gonna Make this little area in my office. Got a table over there for some Bible study action. I'm gonna get it set up. I clean out some stuff. But I think I'm about ready. You know, I'm get this area cleaned up, get everything cleaned up and Open up to some Bible study, or at least try. We'll see. We'll see. And, uh, thinking about shaving. Getting rid of the old beard. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. Alright. Let's get to work. I think I'm tired already, guys. <laughs> I just got started and, and, and I'm all worn out. <sighs> you know, I was, had a Catholic attacking me the other day, complaining, how dare you? try and open a church or start a church or create a church when God's true church is the Catholic church, which I do not believe that. I don't believe God chooses child molesters to 
represent him in his church. The true church is wherever two or more have gathered within the name of Jesus Christ. You know, that's the thing when Jesus was talking to Simon and, and, and telling Simon, you know, this, this is the rock upon which I'm going to build my church. And, and, and hell cannot and will not be able to overcome it. There is no power within existence that can overcome, break down, tear apart Christ's church. And what was Christ's church built upon? What is the foundation of Jesus Christ's church? Peter? Simon? No. God has unveiled this to you. God has revealed this to you. And what did God reveal to Simon? That Jesus was the Christ. And God did that. And that's what everybody in existence, everybody in the Christian world believes. And we're not talking about the man Peter or the man Simon and God building his church upon him. No, it's built upon God has revealed to you that Jesus is the Christ. And to say, you know, and be all upset that God, back in 1890, when he began building this building, this, this church, knew I would be coming into it. It was as if God knew me before I even came to be. And in his infinite wisdom, planned on building this church for me. And I'm not bragging, <laughs> but it feels good to, to know we are inside of God's will. And that's something I want you to know and recognize that you too you too are inside of God's will and plan. And if he has a purpose for me, surely he has a purpose for you. So rejoice in that. Be happy for that. I, I struggle with joy. I struggle being happy. Some of it, I, I, I think, is my limitations, you know, what steals my joy? Becoming sick, what steals my joy? Uh, not being able to do everything on my own. <laughs> having to have help, having to admit I, I'm weak and I'm sick. That, those things steal my joy. What steals my joy? Not having somebody to love, you know. Uh, that steals my joy. There are a few people out there in the world that do love me and have shown and proven their love to be true, but uh, in that, we're just internet buddies and it's beautiful, it's nice, and, and I thank God for the internet because inside all the wickedness and the evil it produces, God is still there. And so having these friends who care for me reminds me that, you know, the love of God has no limits. It's there. I'm going to finish crack feeling around these windows.
crack feeling some of this stucco. So a whole building is stucco. <clears throat> Which stucco has nothing to do with structure, right? Stru stucco is no different than paint. It's no different than uh, drywall or anything else. It's just a covering. It covers the structure and, and the things that provide structure. But it cracks, you know, concrete, stucco cracks. And inside here is, is stucco, like concrete stucco. And then every time that people have patched around it, instead of patching with stucco, you know, they, they plastered, used plaster, which is two different materials. And it, it's, the plaster is nasty. You know, but the stucco is, is good. And and you can see that over the past hundred years there's been many, many workers worked on <laughs> worked there and put a little bit of their their handy handiness into the <laughs> to the building and uh you know. So one of my complaints about living in a, in a farmer community, farmers are jacks of all trades, but they are definitely a master of nothing. They can get stuff done, but don't expect it to be done right. <laughs> and uh, you see a lot, of, I see a lot of that all around here, which makes it tough. But I'm getting close, guys. I. I you know, I can make a thousand excuses of why to hold off on doing Bible study, but getting people in here, and I'm tired of making excuses. And let's just get to it. Let's just get to work. Let's just, you know, they want to come in and what, what, why, why hide the nasties? You know, it's not about the perfection of the building or, or the beauty. The building, the, the building has to offer, but it, it's about the fellowship that's happening within it. <laughs> and so I'm ready. I'm ready to do some Bible study, talk to some people about the Bible. You know, I think that's the best place to start when opening a church is inside of the Word of God. All right, guys. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Shit, see what's up, talk, think it out, something. Day two, our little painting project here at the House of Prayers. Ah. <clears throat> I didn't get very much done yesterday, but kind of got tired and worn out, so. Just going slow, doing what I can, while I can, with what I can.
You know, I was thinking, what's the one thing you can draw out of or, or take away from the Torah? And when I say the Torah, you know, the first five books of Moses, the first five books of the Bible. And that is a ability to live ability to, to work and function inside of this crazy dark world. You know, the times that are evil and, and people are evil and, you know, uh, there's a lot of people in the world who have no problem saying that evil is good and, and good is evil. I mean, I mean, it's so backwards, it's so upside down, it's confusing, it's strange, <laughs> strange to say the least. So what we can gain out of that is the ability to function within it. What gives us the ability to function within a broke down society? Our knowledge of God, I suppose. <laughs> Our hope in God. If all we're gonna do is get sick and die, I mean, it's crazy that the earth, our world, this, this life, I mean, the life we have. It's crazy, we have all this life. And in it, it's full of death. I mean, that's life. We live only to die. And there's there's as much death on earth as there is life in nowhere in, in the galaxy that we know of. Is there so much death? So much life. And so the good news is, is the resurrection of Jesus Christ gives us hope in, in the afterlife. It gives us hope in life after death. And I don't know exactly what that means. Does that mean that gives us hope for, for the lives of, of those left behind? I mean, God will be here. Whether we're here or not, God will still be here. Whether we're here or we're not here, the Bible will still be here and there will still be uh, uh, something in, in this world protecting wisdom, the ability to know good from evil. Today, crack feeling, feeling in all the little cracks, getting ready for the paint. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with painting, but it doesn't change the structure. <laughs> Just brings life to the outer image that covers over the structure. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's get to work, guys. Who taught the sun where to stand in the morning? And who taught 
Show the moon. 